everybody. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. Um, so, from the title of this video, you already know I'm going for vaccination today. Uh, my mom is bringing me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to the one in Shah Alam, uh, IDCC Shah Alam. And I'm actually not that afraid of the vaccination, but more about the post vaccination where you know the fever and the pain and all that. So, yeah, I'll bring you through all that process in this video, and hopefully, it's all fun and good. Hi, baby, do you wanna be mine? Maybe we can see the seaside. Wanna kick it with you? Doesn't seem like there's a lot of people, but you never know. Anyways, I'm done. I'm using my phone to record, so it's kind of blur. Uh, blur? You don't blur. Huh? How are you? Okay. Feel okay. I feel good. Feel good, eh? I feel good. Nothing feel wrong with me. Good. Feel uh, anyways, feel good. I'll run through the progress with you when I'm back home. Yeah, see you. Bye bye. Okay, so yeah, I'm home. I'm gonna run through the pro pro process of the whole vaccination thing, but because uh, it was kind of fast, so I didn't really film uh, most of the stuff. Okay, so when when you reach, you will have you they will lead you to depending on the time. So I was uh, my appointment was six thirty, so I went there around five thirty, so like one hour prior. I think one hour prior is like the most. A suitable time because when the whole process end, uh, the whole vaccination thing, I I, I ended it at uh, six thirty. It was kind of accurate for them, so everything was like really on time. So you don't have to worry about late and all that. But that is, uh, for me in IDCC. I'm not sure about other vaccination center. Okay, so when you reach, they'll they'll, it was mostly they they'll try to lead you around and then, um, the first. They have, I think they have five st stations if I'm not mistaken. First station is uh, they'll give you this form. They'll have two of it and, and then you'll like sign in. The front is Malay part and then the back is the English version of it. So I, I obviously I, I do the English. So when you write in, in fill in the form in English, then you have to do for both in English. And if you fill it in Malay, you have to do both for Malay. Common sense. So yeah. 
um, they will brief you what you need to write in what is in the form. They'll that station one. They'll briefly uh, brief you on the form and like how to fill in. Cause some part uh, we do have to. It's kind of obvious like your name and all that is kind of obvious. But some parts you need to listen from them. So and then you uh, fill in. And then second station, uh, it's where you meet this person. So you give like uh, you get this number. Wait, let me show you. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. <laughs> like you get like a number. You know like how when you go to pay your bills, you have to get these numbers. It's the same same thing. I don't know because you can see. Yeah, uh, extend the tag and stuff. And then you the uh, you wait for your numbers, and then you go to a counter. They have a lot of counters, so it's kind of really it's kind, the process was quite fast. So I got my number, and then you go there. Actually. Everyone there is really, really friendly. Like they will help you through, and when during, when you talk to them in the in the counter, they will like you know talk up some random shit. So it's not really awkward silence between both of you. And then um, yeah, they will, they will ask you to open your my this this where you give your IC and then your my etc. And then uh, he will like do some computer stuff. I don't know what he's doing, but like our information are mostly. And then third station is uh. Doctor consultant. This is this part is where you talk to them, and then uh, they will ask you if you have any um, allergies or any uh, prior COVID experiences, and then they will decide whether you should wait for fifteen minutes or thirty minutes where after your vaccination, which I will uh, bring talk about later. So yeah, after the doctor consultant, you move to the actual vaccination. So um, during the actual vaccination, you of course wait in line again. And then they will bring you, and then they will have like a small hall. So when you enter the like a small, uh, kind of contain, no, kind of a small room covered by white walls, you go in, you scan your QR code again through your my etc. And then um, uh, the doctor was really really professional. He took out the needles, and then he will show you like this is uh, zero point five millimeters of uh, milli milliliters of uh, AstraZeneca. So he will show you like uh, uh, exactly on the 0.5 meter uh, ml line. And then after that, he will tell you to lift up your uh, shirt, obviously. And then you do the whole pro progress process of like the vaccination stuff. And then uh, after that, he after he do it, of course he will ask you to hold to stop bleeding and all that, right? With the cotton. Let me show you. And he will ask you to put this thing, and then um, he will ask you to hold it, and then he will show you the needles again to indicate that the everything is like in your body already, and then he will throw it away in a bin, and then after that, uh, he then and then he will tape it up, and then he will ask you to go to the next station, which is the the observation. So before observation, you have this station where you have to give uh, the form, same form again. Yeah, just now I said they give you two of this form, right? So one of the form they will keep it. It's for their the their usage, and then one more is for us, and then uh, over there they will give you this vaccination card as well. So this this card is really important because it's like the proof of you having the first dose. So he'll chop and order, and then you go proceed to the next station, the last station, which is the observation where you sit there. Because I don't have any prior uh COVID experience and also allergies in my life before, so I only have to wait fifteen minutes. But some people like elderly, they do have to wait. Uh, uh, stay there for 30 minutes, but I only have to stay there for, there for 15 minutes fortunately and then after that 15 minutes I get to leave So yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole experience. It's actually really fast for me It's like uh, I heard a lot of stories where people Appointment was at 3.30 and then they have to wait until like really really late and then they will get But I think at IDCC they did a really good job of keeping people separated like not really clustered like some you can see on social medias I'm not, not sure if you know but yeah at least he's done a really good job of uh, spacing out the people and the flow was really smooth there's no like any uh, stutter and all that so yeah it was overall it was really fun and I will keep you updated for today the next 48 hours if I have any symptoms uh, but because I, what I know is not everyone will have the symptoms so hopefully not so yeah I'll keep you updated. Hi guys. So it's like 24 hours since my first uh, vaccination. And I do feel good. 
and I don't feel any uh, fever and also uh, body ache I guess but I do feel a little pain in the injection area um, other than that I'm fine uh, I don't get any fever or anything even last night I, I checked my temperature was around 36.4 I think yeah so uh, it's all good actually maybe my body is strong I don't know yeah but anyways I want to talk to you guys about something I missed out last yesterday so when you at the vaccination center I would recommend you guys to bring pants prefer preferably preferably two pants because uh, you know you never know you run out of ink like I did but also at the same time you don't have to worry if you like forgot to bring because they supply there and you don't really have to share because they will give you one and if let's say you want a free pen you can also like get it I mean it's free right I, I also got it so and then I just keep it for myself and another thing is um, oh yeah uh, the second thing is um, the second dose of vaccination I asked them they, actually, they said that uh, second dose will be three months the, the time frame between the next three months so yeah if you want to see my second dose of vaccination follow me on my Instagram Instagram maybe I'll post it I don't know and yeah see you tomorrow for the next day checkup hey guys so it's like it's 48 hours more or less um, I almost forgot to film this but actually uh, this afternoon I actually got a mild headache I wouldn't say it's like a really big one it's uh, really really mild I don't think it's really from the vaccine actually I think it's from how I slept last night but overall I do still good everything is okay so yeah that's pretty much it for my vaccine journey so far if you like this video don't forget to like and also if you want to see more from me subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one ciao